Hi everybody, Brooke here. So today I want to talk about seasons and cycling with the seasons. So I talked a little bit about mood cycles and how my mood seemed to fluctuate with the weeks. Well, I want to talk about how I try to mimic the cycles of the seasons in order to kind of build a template, I guess, for how I live my life. So I also try to follow the moon cycles, but I'll talk a little bit about that in a different video. So this video, I'm focusing on the seasons. So it's winter right now in New England. Yes, spring just sprung, apparently, but um, it's snowing right now, so I'm going to start with winter. Yeah, I'll just move on to spring after this. So, winter. It's cold. It's dark. And that is when all of the natural world goes into hibernation. Seeing as us humans, as we are, in fact, a part of the natural world, no matter how far detached we have come from that, we should also be hibernating. So in my eyes, this is a time to analyze. This is a time to introvert and introspect and figure out the decisions I've made, the things that are in my life that maybe I need to let go of. So this is a time for me where I do a lot of journaling. I write a lot about the stuff I've been through. I write a lot about the people in my life. I write a lot about my job. I just write a lot about how I feel and what's going on and how I can let go of things so that come spring, I can rebirth a new version of myself or a new version of my life or more so what I want to see flourish. So winter is a time to plan resolutions. Winter is a time to set intentions. It's a time to say, this is what I want for my future. This is what I want for the following seasons. And this is how I'm going to go about that. So it's a time to really figure out steps and not to take too much action, I don't think, unless the action presents itself to you. So I try my best during the winter to just introspect and look back and close out cycles so that come spring, I can look forward to not only sunshine, because God, good God, I need the sun. Like, look how pale I am. I know, I'm black, so a lot of you out there think, wow, well, you look really tan. But I'm really pale, I promise. So winter, a time for introspection. So next, spring. So spring, it's kind of obvious um, what spring means. Spring means rebirth, renewal. Everything just bursts back into life. The animals start coming out from hiding, our blooms start to blossom, and the buds on the trees are starting to open. It's just a time of green, a time of beauty, and a time of really coming out of that hibernation and out of those intentions and then progressing forward through them and letting them come into your life. So this is a time for me where I have set those intentions, I have done all that journaling, and I've done the looking back, so now I can let that stuff go. Now I've moved past it, I've closed out those cycles, and now I can see my intentions, I know what they are, and I can spring back into my life in a more beneficial way, or in a way that's more in line with who I am, and most importantly, with what I want in my life. This is also a time to start new projects, so a new career endeavor. I'm actually doing more of these videos, if you haven't noticed, and spring just started. So this is something that I'm adding to my repertoire. You know, I just started my mental health speaking career. I already have a booking on the West Coast. I'm getting ready to start living by coastal. So all of the things that I had set my intentions for in the winter are now coming to fruition. So that's what spring is all about. Next, we have summer. So summer for me is a time of being outside a lot more. It's a time of activity. It's a time of action. It's a time of vitality and youthfulness and just getting back into your childlike spirit, being in water, being close to water, being, you know, just connecting with nature, putting your bare feet on the ground. Summer is really a time for us to dive back into all of the amazing things that are now abundant in our life because of spring. So all of those intentions, all of those new plans, summer is the time to just like party. Up. And my birthday's in the summer, so I'm probably going to go to some island somewhere and party it up. But party it up in a way that nurtures my soul. I'm getting rid of drinking. I can't do it anymore. I've tried. I've done the same crap over and over again and expected different results. I am not doing that anymore. So summertime is going to be a time of fun and excitement, but in a way that nourishes my soul and that sustains that nourishment. So summer, a time of joy, this bright, fiery fierceness of the sun, 
and just moving forward with action, but coming from a place of playfulness and youthfulness. Next, we have fall or autumn. So fall is a time, it's like the last hurrah that nature has. It blooms with all the leaves changing into these beautiful, gorgeous colors before they fall off the trees and turn back into the darkness of winter. It's like the golden hour, the golden age before death. This is a great time for us to take stock. This is a time for us to stock up. What did we learn in the last year? What did those four seasons teach us? And how can I pick some of that up and put it into my next season and my next cycle so that I can go into winter with these skills and this passion in my body so that in the darkest days we can still have some of that working through us so that we have the capacity to look back on the previous year, settle all of those cycles, and then do the whole thing over again. This is also an amazing time to be thankful for everything that happened in the last year, whether it was awful and painful or enlightening and abundant and joyful. It's a time to give thanks. I mean, that's why Thanksgiving comes in the fall. It's just a time to be grateful, have gratitude, look at the leaves as they fall off the trees, and then transition back into winter. So that is how I cycle with the seasons. I hope that it will help you in some way to plant your seeds and to move forward. So we go into hibernation in winter, we set our intentions, we birth those intentions in the spring, and in the summer, we enjoy the fruition of them, we enjoy the abundance of them, and then in the fall, we are thankful for all that we've had over the last year, and we appreciate the last of the sun and some of the warmer weather, and then we transition back on into winter. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be so thankful if you did. If you haven't shared this on social media and you think somebody would find it interesting or helpful in planning your life, um, I would love it if you shared. I will be posting a whole bunch of these videos over the next year. Spring and summer are gonna be my time, you know, to party it up and to just do good things um, because I feel like this is my purpose. So if you would share, if you would subscribe, I will love you forever. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.